What is up guys, I'm Blaze Gaming here with some Pokemon Sword. It is November 15th and it is 12.31 a.m. Finally got the game, went to the midnight release, came home and instantly wanted to record for you guys. It's been a good minute, probably about, mm, I want to say like two, three months. It was whenever Fire Emblem came out, which if you haven't seen it, check it out on my channel. But let's get started on our Pokemon adventure with choosing our character. Uh, what is our name? You know, one thing that's kind of different, per se, is that normally, like, the games always start off with, like, a professor intro or something, where they're introducing themselves and are asking you, like, what's your name and gender? You can't change the language after starting the game. That is totally fine. Registration complete. Now saving. Alright. Sounds good to me. I don't know what was up with that that type of language at the the bottom. Oh, wow, they just have this in general. So one thing I will say for Pokemon Sword and Shield to kind of stop myself from spoilers, I didn't dive too deep into it like I normally do with Pokemon games. Okay, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. What the hell is that? Yo. <laughs> that looks weird as hell. Thanks to the help of these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, even with us in our towns. Okay, say it, brother. You got a lot of emotion saying all this. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. I don't know why, but I kind of want that elephant Pokemon now. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. And now turn your gaze to the Gala region's greatest Pokemon trainer. You're an undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match. Okay, got to see a Championship Match or Exhibition Match. Dude's looking a little fire right now. Oh, and he got the Charizard. There we go. Oh, and he's going up against the Steel Dragon type. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end. You don't, you know I don't lose battles, right, Han? Oh, and they're gonna start off with Dynamax. Okay. And that looks badass. Oh, and they're just gonna <laughs> pop the logo in right there and get us into our journey, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. One sheep, two sheep. I don't know, I feel like that Pokemon's kind of like a ripoff of Mary. It's just a normal type. And looks kind of like Derpy. Ah, there's little Munchlax. My guy looks kind of lame with them shoes. I don't know about that. And we got a red top. I gotta change that up ASAP. Try to find something blue. Blue or black? Hop. Hello, hello. Oh, that your flash new phone blades? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be to be with his famous Charizard pose. Oh, that must be my mom. <laughs> and it's mum. Hop, didn't expect you to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get blades. Never mind watching the match. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Oh, that's his brother. His brother's the champion, wow. Come with me, Blades. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. I'm like low-key struggling to read because I'm all excited to play this game. It's been a a long wait so let me let me get my little run in real quick just to test these controls 
Check out the town map. You know, this is kind of different for the Pokemon map. I don't know if I... I don't know if I like it too much. We're gonna put that tech speed to fast. Uh, give nicknames. You know what? I think for now I don't want to give nicknames just because I want to learn all the... I want to learn all... Wow, you can skip movies? That's a feature on them? Wow. What are casual controls? That uh, makes it easier to play with one hand. We don't need to do that. Alright, so we got our little munchlax here. We can wake him up. Lots of books and magazines about Pokemon neatly lined up. Yo, this looks great. Looking for your bag blades. Didn't you leave it in your room? And grab yourself a hat for the weather as well. That's not my room. We got a nice old kitchen. Let's talk to mom. <laughs> I saw it in your room and don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. Yeah, you said. Wait, I don't even have a door to my room. There's like no privacy for my bedroom. You grabbed your dad's old bag. That's classic Pokemon to not give you a dad around. Okay, my guy looking somewhat decent, even though I'm not liking the red. But we got the... Oh, okay, adventure guide. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. Save, town map. Okay, so as you see, like, iconically in every Pokemon game, you have, like, the game console there. So we have the Nintendo Switch with a Pikachu plush doll, posters. Ooh, they've got an Eevee on the wall, too. And then, of course, our bed. We won't spend any time here. Does Mom say something different now? Oh, don't you look a treat. Don't you look a treat. That sounds so weird. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along, Hop is waiting as neat, but remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. Yeah, because I don't have any Pokemon. Okay, so the loading... We have loading screens. Loading screens of, like, the town map. I'm not gonna lie, I like these... I like these looking. Oh, we had a Padu there. Ha ha ha. Happy look at you, Blades. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's a, as big as a Snorlax. Okay. A Wulu? But what's it doing here? Obviously trying to get through the gate, bro. Hey, you silly Wulu, I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on that fence. Now, you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wield. Now, if that's taken care of, how about it, Blades? Let's race. But I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Are they going to tell me I can pull B to run now? I don't know, because he automatically runs. Welcome to the town of Postwick. A farming town since the days of old where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. Let's talk to you good old sir. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? Yeah, dude, we've been waiting on this. And then this is Hops. Wow, dude has a little Pokemon battle arena right there. I guess it kind of pays having... A brother that can fight in those exhibition matches. I don't know, I think Hop is a way cooler character model to use. <laughs> Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along Blades. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? Or cupboard? <laughs> He's still not here yet, for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. And that's where I'm going. You know, Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably is for the best. You've got to come with, Blades. You're still... You still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. Yeah, that's interesting. I'll wait for you on the route. Okay, we kind of came here. From the Actually, let me go upstairs. He got a two-story house. They ballin'. You got grandma living with you? 
Oh, the grandma keeps his room tidy. Yeah. Leon takes forever. So this is, this must be Hop's room. Wait, what was that on the computer? Is this supposed to be like their version of like the Mac, the MacBooks? <laughs> and they got a, they got a U here. I, I can't even remember what their, what this one's name is. <laughs> I think it's from fifth gen. Alright, Hop. Let's get a move on. I like that music change. Only remember Blades. Wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against Wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Blades, so we'll still kill you up the tall grass as we go. Right, thanks for pointing that out, bro. Kind of want to go on the grass right there. <laughs> oh, there's a crowd up there waiting too. Wedgehurst. And he got like a huge grin when he came out. Hello, hello, my church, your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for all of you to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charles are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to, Lee. Uh, he taught the whole town how to battle, basically. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take you on. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Gaylor's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. And then his Charizard. His Charizard's short, but then again, Charizard's only like 4'11", I think. Lee. Ha. Huh. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up, huh? Look at you, huh? I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo, that's the sort of sharp eye that keeps you undefeated so long, huh? Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Blades, am I right? Yes, sir. Oh, you did. I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm from the Gaelic region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and master Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Blades. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. This dude just likes running. He kind of reminds me of, uh, what was it, Diamond and Pearl. That hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Hopefully this game may actually give us a challenge in my game. Normally every Pokemon game, well, the last like two, three generations, we haven't had a challenge in one. Well everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Gaylor can have a champion time. I keep saying Gaylor, but I think it's Galar region. But I don't like the way that's pronounced. <laughs> Galar region. Or the Galar region? Galar? Galar? Hmm, I guess Galar does sound better. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Blades and me Pokemon, you did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Okay, yeah, so they're letting us pick our starter Pokemon. Uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know what was up with that decently long cutscene right there, or black screen. Okay, we got Grookey the grass type, Score Bunny the fire type, and Sobble the water type. Now, I know a lot of people have been complaining about 
lack of information for the Pokemon games when it came to the starter evolutions, because you know a lot of people base their final evolution off who they'll choose. Some people just choose it off of type, and some people just choose it based off popular or at least popular um, Pokemon. Wow, this is a nice cutscene. Oh, snap. So Sobble is always like timid and scared, that's why he like hides using his chameleon powers. Score Bunny's hyper and active, and Groovy's like calm and content with everything. So the big question most people have is, which Pokemon will you choose? Now, since this is the first time I've ever put Pokemon on my channel, most people won't even know this, but I always choose the grass type when it comes to Pokemon games. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wulu after all. So, you guys already know I'm going with Grookey. It's Grookey gang out here. So, the grass type Pokemon Grookey, yeah? It's soothing, like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass type Pokemon Grookey, is it? Heck yeah. And I chose Grookey. And like I said, I took off the nickname um, feature, you guys saw in like the beginning of it, so I won't be, uh, I won't be nicknaming anybody on this playthrough just so we can learn the names of these Pokemon. So it'll be groovy for you, right? Nice one. Then I'll go with Sobble, you're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. I feel like it only would have been right to choose Sobble just because Hop seems like the type to get a score bunny on his team. I bet you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along this Pokemon for you and Blades. So until you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Oh, he's getting bored at the top, I think. And you'll come with me. Oh, snap. Okay, we just gave him another fire type. <laughs> Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict but real strong and real kind, too. Actually, no, this kind of worked out now. So now, his, like, the brothers can face off with, like, a type advantage versus type disadvantage. Alright, enough of all these trainer nine cents for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Oh uh, yeah. next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe you built up a bit of love. Of course I have, Lee. Blades made fast friends with this groupie, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one that'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Blades might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning on losing to him and missing out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Oh, yes sir. Let's do this. Believe in your po partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. He likes saying champion a lot. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon are trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Okay. Okay, I like that, I like that little animation he did there. He's looking all anxious and stuff. Shout out your Lulu, though, since apparently I need to take on two Pokemon. Two versus one. Not really fair. A Pokemon battle is, then I've got two partners with me. Oh, level three. Alright. Oh wait, my group is a girl. Dang. 
now, so like I just wanna I wanna check this out. I wanna see what nature we got. Let's see. Special attack is bad and then special defense is good. Ah, I got a careful nature. Okay, okay. I actually think my nature is kind of bad because I'm supposed to be like a tank. But let's just start off with this scratch. I like the way the text seems like too. Good. Okay, Goofy putting in work. I like how they add in opposing to the to the battle now. Opposing <laughs> really do. All I know is scratch. <laughs> scratch and growl. I probably should have started off with growl and then scratch away. How much did we get? 55? Oh wow, we got a level up off. Don't tell me we're gonna learn our grass move so we can easily destroy the next one. Yep, we learned branch poke. <laughs> branch poke, that's, that's the name of the move. It's not over yet, I've added another trusty ally to my Let's go Sapa. Branch poke. Sapa you can. Okay, his solo can't even hit hard. I think it's probably a special attacker. Did you already know about type of energy? Yeah, bro, you picked, you picked water, bro. I thought you read all your brother's magazines. What happened? Honestly, I'm not disappointed in my decision. I enjoy going with the grass type. Did we get another level up? Yep. Level 7 now. Wow. I think this is like the first ever rival battle we have where he has two Pokemon like right off the bat. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and that group here too much. And we got 400 for winning which is basically like $4 I think. Well that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Groupie. Why don't I get you all sorted? Oh, he's gonna heal us up. Sweet. And Blaze, you've got real promise. In fact, I got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You gotta let me take on the Pokemon Gym. <laughs> you? Join the Gym Challenge? You think you're ready to, for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not with the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. That's a weird saying. <laughs> if that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Blades, before you even think about getting gym badges. Best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all Pokemon out there including their strengths, but it's more than just a collection of data. You know, it's a, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes, then we're on it. Looks like it's often Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Blades. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm gonna be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You're probably better go tell your mom that. We're heading out, though. Okay, I guess I'll go tell me mom. And then, don't tell me that we'll be <laughs> tackled that fence. Blades, did you just hear that? Yeah, bro, I think they broke the fence near my house. The gate's open in that woo-woo that was there. Don't tell me I gotta go catch that woo-woo or something. It was tackled, I don't think it actually broke through, though. Do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in there once, and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards, Blades. What do you say? Mm, we've got to save it, bro. Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Blades. Guess I don't get to tell my mom anything. I'm so used to like holding B to, to run. Okay, I like this little transition they're doing. That's actually nice. That Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? 
The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Alright. And we... Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> squirrel? <laughs> is that what his... <laughs> is that what his name is? Squirrel? Squirrel. Okay. We're gonna do branch poke. I don't think I have poke balls yet. I think we're probably gonna get that from the professor. Yeah, I don't think the... I don't think the... I don't think Leon gave us poke balls. But just to be sure... Yep, no, we're in empty, but we do have potions, that's good to know. And then Y for info. User attacks the target with a sharply pointed branch. Okay, got that 11 EXP. Yeah, I don't think you guys realize how excited I am for like a Pokemon game. It's been way too long. And I've always wanted to put Pokemon on my channel. Doing all right there, Grookey. Let's be sure to keep you in tip top. Oh, okay, he healed me up. Tip top shape. Oh, Grookey. It looks like Nat too. It's like emo Nat too. Yeah, we can't use grass. It's a flying type. We're just gonna scratch the hell out of you. Oh, you already know the Wasn't expecting that. Okay. okay, we got nine off you. Not bad, but guys, a uh, question of the day, if you've made it this far in the video, is which starter did you choose and why? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Yeah, that's that Wooloo, bro. Okay, even if you sneak, you can still get that wild encounter. Yeah, we're just gonna just, uh... Just squub it. I don't know why, but I feel like they purposely named it that so you'd have to pronounce its name on the Squub it. Water for squirrel. I'm ready to read these Pokédex entries too, so I don't know if anybody else really reads the Pokédex entries. Not after a while, but Pokémon usually has like some some dark entries to use. Come on, Blaze! That move might be in real trouble. Yeah, just. Okay, this is a, a far run. <laughs> this is mad, I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. I hope they don't do something corny and have us like interact with like a legendary <laughs> this early on. Oh, and they did. <laughs> what in the Okay, you better say your name loud and proud. Wait, what? Oh wait, no, this, this isn't the legendary. No, because he doesn't have a sword in his mouth. <laughs> the move has no effect. The mysterious Pokemon gaze is fixed on you. <laughs> what? The move had no effect on it? Why, why are you smiling, bro? <laughs> Can this actually happen in the battles? Like when you do like weather changes? Blaze, I can't see anything. Like if somebody used uh, haze or something? Okay, nothing works on you. Oh, you're just thickening the fog so we can't see you? Do I, do I have no choice but to run? Disappeared. That was actually pretty dope. 
I was hoping like it wasn't gonna be like a cliche like scene or something where you interact with the legendary and you're just all amazed but they did a good job with that with making it make it all foggy and our moves didn't affect it at all hop blades is that Leon yeah what Lee how'd you manage to find your way here your pants with direction. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from my little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. It's the Wooloo. We're trying to rescue that Wooloo. Bro. <laughs> it has not been there this whole time. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, huh? And at least that Wooloo's alright. Yeah, Blades? I thought we had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attack, but at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, huh? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it. Hmm. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wheel. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough, maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal that truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. It'll be all right now that I'm here with you. Sounds good, bro. Let me get that Pokedex. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Hop is really adamant about having his legendary tale like forged in history. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedge Church now. She'll go spare. She'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Oh man, I'm gonna try to get used to the way that they speak their English, but as a as an American we don't say mum, and we don't say she'll spare. Well now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? I sure am, Mom. Uh. Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Aw, oh, sweet. Buy yourself a little something at that Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. I'm getting Pokeballs. I'm ready to catch something. Remember that Grookey will be battle... That group will battle to the very end for you, so don't go pushing that poor deer too hard. And you, Groupie, look after my little blades. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is the best. Okay, Mom has bars. Alright, later, Mom. Thanks for your blessing and allowance. Off to be great. Wow, just look at this. They did a great job with this. This was... Low key worth the wait. And then here we are at Route 1. I didn't even notice that sign the first time we passed by. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Sobble a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark out front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Wait. Ah, uh, you would have the Wooloo just like block the path there. Ah, oh, and there's already like the, squ the Squavits there to interact with if you want to like run into them. But guys, I'm into this episode off right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we got our starter Pokemon Grookey. We got to check out some two new Pokemon that we've never seen read. But I don't know the name of that elephant in the intro. But I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. Also, subscribe to my channel if you would like to follow this series and hit that notification bell so you're always notified when I upload. But guys, with that said, take it easy. Later.